Catastrophic thoughts can be very intrusive and compulsive. It can feel like they're taking over our mind. These are the thoughts that tend to keep us awake at night when our mind is racing, we're worried, and it feels like there's no way to stop them. They have a lot of power and intensity. There are two very effective ways we use in the living inquiries to work with this kind of thought. One is tapping and the other is tracing. We can look at words or pictures with these methods. We tap with two fingers on the point on the forehead, just between and above the eyebrows. Tap firmly enough that you can feel it and hear it. You bring up the picture. You notice that you're looking at a picture. You notice what's in the picture. If there's someone in there, what do they look like? What's the expression on their face? If it's a picture of a hurricane or a fire, whatever it is, it might be something you've seen on the news. Focus on the image. Really have a good look at it for a few seconds. And then when you begin the tapping, transfer your attention to the sound and the sensation of your fingers. Tap 10 or 15 times, and then bring your hand down and look again at the image. What is your response to the image now? With tracing, we're also looking at the image. When we notice we're looking at an image, we can put a frame around it. If it's a video clip, it might be like we're looking at it on a screen. It could be we put a picture frame around it. And then we notice that there's space all around the edges of the image. If an image feels too persistent and too intense to do that with, then open your eyes, put the image on the wall across the room, and notice the space between you and the image and the space all around the image. And tracing involves taking your eyes in a clockwise direction around the outside space two or three times, and then the other direction. And then look back at that image. Notice your response now. With tapping and tracing, it's a good idea to start with a moment of relaxation, getting in touch with your body and your breath. Keep a bit of attention on your body and your breath through the practice. It helps us to stay grounded and to remember that we're not experiencing what we're looking at. We're looking at pictures or video clips of something. There's a response to it. Part of that response could be some kind of energy or sensation in the body. We might start holding our breath if we're really worried. Pay a bit of attention to your body and your breath so that you can keep grounded through that. Bring to mind something that you're worried about right now. Something where your mind is spinning off into catastrophic thinking. There's a hurricane that's projected to land. Somebody that you love lives there. It's easy for those images to come to mind. Whatever it is for you, whatever it is that you're spinning off into some kind of catastrophic thinking about, bring the situation to mind. We can work with images one by one, or we can make a collage of images if there are a lot of them. You could also work with one image. Use whatever has the most interest for you right now, whatever seems the most intense. After you've really looked at the image, you know what's in there. Then either tap on it, bring your attention to the sound and sensation of the tapping on your forehead, or put a frame around the image and trace your eyes in the empty space, clockwise and counterclockwise. Notice the image again, and notice what's happening in your body as you're looking at that image. Take a few deep breaths. And then look at the next image to come up. It might no longer be the images of the hurricane. 
It might be an image of the person. It might be images or words around getting a phone call. Notice how our minds will go to different scenarios and then look at what it is exactly that's coming up. If it's words, look at the words like you would a picture. If it's images and words, you could put the words like a caption on the image. You could have a collage of several words and images. Once you've had a good look to see what's in the image, eyes open if it's too intense, eyes closed if it feels okay. Then begin the tapping, transferring your attention to the sensation and sound of the tapping or the tracing. Put it in a frame, trace the space on the outside. When you're finished, look right at the image again. Look at the words. Notice the response in your body. If you're still feeling some intensity to it, simply repeat it again. Look at the image as it looks to you now and either tap or trace. When we're troubled by catastrophic thinking, we notice that what comes to mind is often the worst case scenario. What if this was to happen? What if that was going to happen? So bring them up and have a look. You're looking at something that your mind has created. You're not looking at an actual event. Notice the pictures. Notice the words. Do the tapping or the tracing. Take a few deep breaths in between and be thorough with this. Give yourself a chance to really see and follow through. You get the phone call. You're walking through the hospital doors. You see them in the bed. You see them at the funeral home. Whatever it is that your mind is bringing forward to look at. These are images that are coming up and you're looking at the images. You're noticing sensation or response in your body. And tapping and tracing are very effective ways to work with that. To remind yourself that these are images, something that's happening in your mind, and that we can work with that and allow them to lose their power. At all other times, it's important to not entertain catastrophic thoughts. Don't let your mind go down those roads. As soon as you notice catastrophic thoughts coming into the mind, Stop. If you want, you could sit down right then and there and do the tapping or the tracing. Otherwise, you could distract yourself somehow. You could go outside, take a few deep breaths, turn on some dance music, talk to somebody. Another effective way is to read something out loud. It engages a part of the brain that makes it hard to catastrophize. With box breathing, it interferes with what's going on in the nervous system. It helps us to have a reset. Exhale for four seconds. Hold your breath for four seconds. Inhale for four seconds. Hold for four seconds. There could be unresolved trauma or fear that's at the root of the pattern in the mind, of the momentum, of the catastrophic thinking. If that's the case, it's worthwhile to do work to dissolve that, to heal that trauma. And in the meantime, and at any time, we can work with catastrophic thoughts, with the living inquiries, looking at them the way we do, and doing tapping or tracing can really help to release the intensity. Take a few deep breaths, relax your body, and go about your day.
To start, we bring up the image. We notice that images are shapes, colors, 